Hi, I'm Fred Feldon. This video is for Coastline Math faculty who are temporarily moving exams online because of the coronavirus and school closures. At some point, we'll go back to in-person paper and pencil exams proctored by a human. Contact your chair or dean for more information. The programs and the products we're working with at Coastline include the Canvas Learning Management System, My Math Lab, My Open Math, and Proctorio. You know, there's a lot of ways to do this, but I'm choosing to create my exam and assign it in my math lab. Then students will go to the Canvas course website and activate Proctorio, take a quiz that starts Proctorio, but I'll allow them to open a new tab and they can go into my math lab and submit their test. Then go back to Canvas and stop Proctorio. I'll warn them, of course, that Proctorio is recording their screen, so we'll know if they cheat. <laughs> okay, so let's get started, and I'll walk you through the steps. Here I am in my math lab. I'll click on Course Tools, uh, Assignment Manager, Create Assignment, and Create Test. I'll give it a name and pick some appropriate questions. Here's one, find the domain of a function. I'll add that to the test. All right, I've got a test with one question. And now let's walk through some of the settings. You want a due date, I want to set it out far enough to offer a great deal of flexibility. I'll make it the end of the month. Uh, I'll accept that, no password, limit the attempts to one. This is an exam. I'll block access. I'll set the test time for, typically it's two hours, but I'll make it an hour and a half, to again, to allow flexibility. I'll have a timer mark down the time, and I will allow a summary that shows their score when they're done, and allow other instructors to import this assignment. I'll save and assign it. There it is, showing at the bottom of the screen. Students will see it when they open up My Math Lab and click on Assignments. There it is. That's where they'll open it up. Students will have to enable Proctorio in the Chrome browser. So go to proctorio.com and click at the top on Get Started, Test Taker, and scroll down and you'll have to, they will have to walk through the three steps that you see here to install the Chrome extension. There it is. All they do is click on Add to Chrome and Add Extension. Next, you will need to activate Proctorio in your Canvas course website. Click at the bottom on Settings, choose the Navigation Panel, find uh, Proctorio and drag it up to the top. Drag quizzes up to the top if it's not there already. At the bottom, click on Save. Now click on Quizzes. And at the top, add a quiz. We'll give it a name. In the empty text box, type your instructions. Here's what I did. We can preview this in a minute. Now let's scroll down and take a look at some of the settings. We'll give a time limit, of a, again, of two and a half hours. And now under Quiz Restrictions, it's important that you check Enable Proctorio Settings, and let's edit those. For Recording Options, we'll click them all. For the lockdown options, I think I'll just disable printing because my math lab may need these others. For the verification options, turn on the first row. No in-quiz tools are needed. The last thing we need to do is add a question. That is what will stop the recording once they answer that and submit it in Canvas. So click, on, click at the top on Questions, add a new question. Here's what I suggest. It's a nice time to remind them about the academic honesty policy. Now click Save.
Let's end the video with a final walkthrough of what your students will do. They'll open up your Canvas course website. They'll click on quizzes. They'll click on the exam. There's the quiz instructions. And hopefully they will not answer the question. But instead, they'll click on the link to open a new tab and sign in where they'll click on their assignments find the sample test they need to take and open that up we'll start it answer a question click submit test and now they need to go back to Canvas to stop Proctorio. Okay, they'll answer the exam. Ooh, somehow it's multiple choice, so let's choose yes. Submit the quiz, and this will shut down the, the uh, proctoring. And they're done. All this technology is probably really new to your students. It certainly was to me. So definitely create a practice assessment for your students like this to go through the learning curve and test out their equipment. Thanks a lot. That ends this video. Good luck and let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching.